We're in YouTube too. There we go. Hey, really quick. So we're going to take a quick break of um, reviewing books because I just received a few minutes ago an email that I think that it would be very interesting to all of you. So the email if well, first of all, like for the people watching this, thank you so much. The actual podcast with the background music and all that, you know, crappy things that you put in podcasts is actually in Anchor, um, Apple, what is it, podcast, Google podcast, you know, I know those major uh, podcast things. Thank you to the six people. We went from five to six and the six is my wife, but I still am very grateful for all of you guys uh, listening to this. All right, so I received a pretty cool email that um, I really think that most of you will like. Uh, While I was recording the previous podcast of Jordan B. Peterson, The 12 Rules for Life, I received an email that said, um, vaccinating our communities will take time and patience. And when I got that, that was for me personally, that was probably one of the creepiest emails I have ever received in my life. Um, as you already know, I live in, uh, in Ohio. Uh, we do business in Cleveland. So this email is from Cleveland Clinic. And I was sort of browsing through the email, but I thought, hey, you know, I want to read it with you guys because this is a note from our CEO and president to Ms. Luck Mijavik. I know that the Vic, I can pronounce that very good because of soccer. But the name, who knows? All right. So the coming month will require patience as we wait for more COVID-19 vaccines to become available. Now, that is the scary part. The arrival of the first COVID-19 vaccines last month sparked excitement. To who? Hope and anticipation for better days ahead. Many of you have called and, and written us written to us with questions about when you'll be able to get vaccinated. I'm glad that so many of you are eager to get these safe and effective vaccines. That right there, just that sentence right there, safe and effective vaccines. Like, look, I am not a product. I don't need to be sold any crap. Like, don't tell me safe. Don't tell me effective. Don't sell me any anything in your agenda i really don't know how much money you're gonna get paid for all of these vaccines just a moment my little baby wanted to give me something see she's always trying to sell me stuff too but let's continue reading the email we're confident that everyone in our communities who wants to get vaccinated that's the that's the key who wants to get vaccinated against covid19 and is eligible No vaccines have yet been authorized for children under age 16. I didn't know that will be available to. However, it is important to understand that this could take several months. For me, it could take decades. All right. Right now, the number of vaccines available is very limited. We're working with the states of Ohio and Florida to get more doses as soon as possible. We're also prioritizing. Whoa, sorry, my child almost killed herself. Okay, we're also prioritizing the doses we've already received based on guidance from the CDC and the state authorities. Although the process might seem to be moving slowly, every person who gets vaccinated is a step in the right direction. For who? And how and why and and what you mean with that. All right. As we get more doses and can vaccinate more of our communities, we'll share that with you. You can always find the most up-to-date information on our vaccine website. Anyway, and then uh, it keeps saying, please keep masking up, social distancing, washing your hands and avoiding gathering to slow the spread of the virus. And just remember, behave like sheep. Just kidding. I use that. I use that. I just, yeah, I just made that up. Because it will take a while for all of our communities to get vaccinated against COVID 19. These measures will continue to be important. We will keep you informed about when you'll have the opportunity to get the COVID 19 vaccine. Until then, we appreciate your patience as we work through the complex process of getting these new vaccines into our community. The CEO and president of Cleveland clinic 
All right, so I really think that the reason why I think this email was very scary is because, as we all know, the time has come. Just kidding. It's coming. It's coming at least. Uh, you know, first we started with the whole, let's shut down the world. Then when we realized that that didn't do anything, we uh, started putting masks and social distancing. And then when we realized that we were destroying our economy, uh, we started using politics as some kind of sort of excuse of... Um, something and then when we start uh, crashing in politics in you know physically mentally spiritually uh in every way shape or form then the vaccine is here to save us all you know i mean don't get me wrong i believe that if you are high risk you should probably get the vaccine because you know it, it just makes sense it, it makes common sense right and or if you're scared or if you feel the need that you must get the vaccine by all means i think that's a great great idea go ahead and take it now what i'm afraid of is that for my children to go to school they're going to be forced to put this vaccine of something that we really don't know what it is about and the people that can tell me is like well are you a doctor to know what the vaccine has well, I can, I can ask you the same thing. Well, you know, have you ever done drugs to know what they do to you? Like, have you ever put your head underneath a semi-track just to see if you can survive? I mean, I don't have to know what's inside the vaccine to know the side effects or the consequences or everything that can cost to me on my children, especially the ones that are very little. So it does give me some comfort that there's no vaccines for children under the age of 16, which I think is great. However, I predict that will change. I have a feeling that that's, that's going to change. We'll, we'll all be vaccinated, and I, I just don't want to be vaccinated. I, I just don't feel the need for me to go through that kind of process. If I get sick, it's my responsibility. It's on me. I'll pay the consequences of whatever comes to me and my family. Yes, I mean... I don't want to sound irresponsible, but, you know, like, we're young. The kids are young. They're healthy. There's no underland, you know, there's no, uh, we're no high risk of any way, of any sort. I don't know. That's my opinion about it. I just thought to read this to you guys. Um, this is in the Cleveland Clinic, which I didn't know, but apparently uh, Cleveland has a pretty... Cleveland Clinic is one of the top clinics, uh, hospitals, well, it's not a hospital, it's a clinic, but uh, in the U.S., which I wasn't aware of that. I think that's, you know, whatever thing they want to push through whomever agenda, I, I would push it through the major clinics, major hospitals. That's what I would personally do. But I think it's a good thing that the vaccine is here for the people that need it and want it, uh, as long as they don't force it to me through my throat or to my children and you know as long as i don't have to do something that i don't want to do i think it's a good thing that's my opinion and i just would like to know your opinion thank you for watching that's it see you bye